Hi folks. Well, it's uh, it's Friday, February 21st, uh, 2020. And I'm on my way back to Kamegan from Cagayan to Oro. I had to go there for a visa run in order to extend my my visa because I have a tourist visa and I'm, uh, I'm about to head back over now there are some small changes about going on to Kamegan uh, you have to fill out a, a form it's a simple form and it just takes a you know three minutes but you have to state uh, what countries that you've been in before visiting the Philippines. Um, now, I've been in the country since 2017. So, you know, I haven't been out of the Philippines since then, so it was pretty simple for me. Now, we'll see when I get to Kamegan itself if they uh, have more questions for me, but um, and they, may, they may well, but we'll find out when the time comes. So this is what we'll be waiting for you when you uh, get onto Kamegan Island. Uh, you have to walk through that area there where those uh, pavilions are, and they'll scan you to take your temperature to make sure you don't have a fever. And then they'll uh, give you some hand sanitizer, and then they'll uh, ask you questions about where you've been. And if you're a foreigner uh, visiting the Philippines, they're going to ask to see your, your passport. They'll ask to see it to make sure that you haven't been to one of these four places in the last three months. China. Hong Kong, Macau, or South Korea. Uh, they want to make sure you haven't visited any of those places where the, the COVID-19 has uh, really taken hold. So, they will check your passport. Um, now, if you haven't been to those places and you have a fever, but you haven't traveled there, they'll give you some medicine and, and you'll be told to see a doctor. Now if you're a Filipino and you've visited uh, any of those four places, uh, once again China, Hong Kong, Macau, so South Korea, uh, you'll be quarantined for 14 days, which I don't think is enough, but uh, that's what they've decided on. So those are the new rules. Now, <clears throat> any foreigner that's traveled to any of those places will be sent back to, uh, well, the, if they're not sick, they'll, they'll be sent back to um, the lingual one. And if they are sick, I'm not sure what they do with them. Uh, but they'll be sent back to the lingual one probably. And... Uh, so that's that's the procedure. Now, uh, I think it's a sensible thing to do. Uh, I don't know if it's really enough, but, you know, it's a good start. If there may eventually be other countries added to that list, but as of February 21st, those are the countries that you can't have traveled in in the last three months. So, uh, anyway, they, uh, they want to keep coronavirus off this island, and they got to do something, so uh, I guess it's a, it's a good start, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this will go away before too long. Uh, it's been going on since December in China. And I guess they, they do have, a con you know, they got a handle on it in China, I think but uh, not elsewhere, some other places don't. 